Hi, I'm Patrick Prince here with Frank Bonner, and uh, we're here to wrap up Oklahoma State's 2020 football season. Frank, uh, if I'm an OSU fan, how do I feel about how the season went? In its totality, you do have to be disappointed just because of the expectations for this year were to, to win a conference championship and have a shot at the college football playoff, and they fell well short of that. Um, but you can't negate the fact that they did have injury problems. And so, you know, the way that the season ended, you're probably a little bit courage as an OSU fan going into next year. If you look at that defense and what Jim Knowles has been able to do, you feel really solid in, in your defensive coordinator and the defense. And so it's it's a missed opportunity, but the way they ended it, you're kind of optimistic about next year. What about Spencer Sanders? He he had, you know, flashes of, you know, brilliance, if you will, uh, but also had some in inconsistencies. Do you, do you see him getting better this year or is this just the reality of how he's going to perform? Well, I think this, this upcoming year is a big year for him because a lot was said about Sanders in terms of him being so young and his inexperience. Well, going into this next year, he won't be looked at as a young guy. And so whatever, whatever he gives you, Next season in those first four or five games, I think that's going to be the quarterback that he is. And so if you're an OSU fan, you're hoping that he's the quarterback that ended the year against Miami in that bowl game. That's the type of Spencer Sanders that they need out of him. And if they can't get that from him, then you're looking at him as like maybe he's not as electric as you thought he was if he can't, you know, protect the ball. Well, and to be and to be fair to him, he he, there were some offensive line issues. So he, I know protection wasn't the best. Is it is it fair to say that the offensive line wasn't wasn't the best for him at times? Well, yeah, yeah, and, I, and that I mean that's that's a major part of it, um, especially when you have a running quarterback like him. If you can give him a solid offensive line, he can use his legs in a better way than what he was able to do this year. And so I think it's a it's a mixture of him needing to protect the ball and get the ball out a little bit quicker. And, you know, the offensive line is expected to be much better next year if they can get healthy. So I think this upcoming season is huge for him and what he will be as a quarterback. Brendan Presley sort of had a breakout game. Well, not sort of. He, he did have a breakout game in the bowl game. Uh, what do you see for him next year? I think he's going to be a huge piece. And uh, offensive coordinator Casey Dunn talked about it. He said that, uh, the coaching staff has always thought that he was great, but just with the pieces that they had with, you know, Tylen Wallace, Dylan Stoner, it was hard for him to get on the field with those guys in front of him. Well, now those guys are leaving. And so I think Brennan Presley not only will have the opportunity, but I think OSU needs him to be a, um, a reliable receiver. And I think he will be. I mean, what we saw in the bowl game can be the norm for him as, as he goes into this next year. And when you talk about the players is missing. I mean, the offense has five offensive players who declare for the draft, and the defense has five offensive or defensive players who declare for the draft. Young guys like Brennan Presley and others will need to step up. You lose in those guys, and so this is a perfect opportunity for Presley to to hang strong and and what he he built it on.